I started with a family and now the business is a corporation. I like very much the way it was. It changed into something new that we can see now a little bit of the collapse of all this again. I think the values are the ones to be to be kept, the, the values of uh, the family business. I think that was a little bit more what I was brought up with that, so I think that's the best I ever done. Working for a family, growing, I saw a business that was one thing and became an international, an international kind of company, more than ever, the Valentino company. And uh, I mean... I was in, uh, in a moment in fashion where everything was to be reinvented. And I used to work for this company, a family, that everything we've done, we've done before anyone is doing right now. And it was with a different budget. Now, nowadays, I mean, the big events cost, I don't know, $5 million, $10, $10 million. You used to do it with a, a little, not pocket money, but in a different, with incredible taste, because I work for people with incredible taste. And uh, I mean, the difference now is the big corporations and the big money. We did events that were unique in the world, like, I mean, uh, you saw the, the celebrations of Valentino 45 years. I mean, the whole world of fashion came to Rome, and we show Rome at the highest, the most chic, elegant way. When I was a student, I was supposed to be studying to be an ambassador. I wanted to do diplomatic life. And all of a sudden, I became a diplomat for an international house of style. And that's, I'm a diplomat. My two wonderful boys, they are sane in mind, great in style, enormous at heart. I think, in my life, the best is yet to come. So we always have to live in that kind of frame of mind. The best is yet to come. With the jewelry that I do and everything, everything carries a message and it's always a positive message. I became a yogi, although I'm number five, the priest that prays a message, I don't always do that message, but I'm willing to achieve that one day. Rome was great as an education, but New York is my soul. I'm the go and getter, the one that wakes up at nine o'clock in the morning and I'm ready to sprint. I mean, I'm very much this city. I love the vibe of the city. I mean, my kids, for example, say, enough of New York, you're getting neurotic like all of them. But I think this is my place. I love you. I love you too.